Have you ever been shooting and you got that shot of a lifetime, but there's a shadow on there that's just ruining everything? Well, right now I'm gonna show you how to remove that shadow inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. And today I'm gonna to show you how to remove a shadow from a photograph. So this picture of the elephants was sent in by Richard Pilcher who went on a trip and shot this amazing photograph. And now he asked me, is there any way we can remove the shadow from the baby elephant? Well, I've got good news for you, Richard. Yes, we can. And right now I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate the background. Command J. Now this is for two reasons. One, it gives me a layer to mask out if I need to. And number two, it enables me to show you the before and after. All right, so now we're going to go up under filter and we're going to go to the camera raw filter. A big difference in Photoshop CC from CS6 was putting camera raw as a filter. And honestly, this is the most useful thing in Photoshop. I use it all the time. So we're clicking on camera raw filter. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to isolate this area of the shadow. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our brush here. This is our adjustment brush and I want to turn on mask so I can see where I'm painting. But before I start painting, there's a little tool down here. If we scroll all the way down, it's called auto mask. Now, if I turn on auto mask, it's actually going to help me select these edges. So why don't we start painting right now? And what we're trying to do is just select this area of shadow. So I'm just going over there and let's grab the whole shadow across the back here. Just going over there. And why don't we just grab it here? All right, let's go all the way down. And why don't we grab it on the front as well? So let's grab these legs. And then we're going to get that ear. Although the self shadow is probably not too bad on the ear, it might not be something you have to worry about. But let's go ahead and do that anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hide the mask so we can see there's our selection. And now we want to make some adjustments. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the adjustment brush, reset local correction settings. Great. Now let's fix it. So there's two things we need to fix. One is the brightness and the other one is the temperature. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's turn up the exposure a little bit, just brightening this up trying to match it. Now you'll see that it's turning to blue because of the shadow. So we're just going to warm it up a little bit, go up to the temperature and let's increase that. So it kind of matches. Great. Let's have a look and see what else we can do. Let's open up our shadow a bit more. And let's play around for our highlights. So what we're looking to do is match the tones in here with the rest of the tones in the image. So we could play around with the whites, maybe. And you're just essentially going to go through all these different settings until we start to get a good match. Let's give it a little touch of dehaze, not too much. And now I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit more. Don't worry about the edges. We're just looking right now to match the middle. OK, let's go into saturation and just give this a little boost of saturation because we'll be losing a little bit of that in the shadows. All right, that's starting to look pretty good. Let's go over here a little bit more. Just play around with the exposure, just a touch. And if we want, we can go back in with this brush and just go around those edges just to see if we can get a little bit better. OK, great. This is a good starting place. Now we're just going to click OK to apply it. OK, so we're starting to get somewhere. If we look at it now, we've brought out the details in there, but these edges are looking a little bit strange. So now we want to fix the edges and we're just going to do this by grabbing the spot healing brush tool. And make your brush nice and small and we're just going to go over these edges here. OK, it looks like I still want to do a little bit of adjustment over here. So let's just apply it again. We're just going to go under filter and we're going to choose our camera raw filter. And once again, we're just going to grab our brush here. Let's grab our selection brush here. And we're just going to select over this area. 
just painting over there. Now it's going to look a little strange because we're applying the last settings. Don't worry about that too much at this point, because now we're just going to go up and we're going to choose to reset. And all we want to do is just brighten this up a little bit. So let's go to the exposure and just give it a little push and maybe warm up that color just a tad. There we go. And we've got some edges. Now you could even try and fix the edges right here if we wanted using the spot removal tool. Left bracket key will make that a little bit smaller. And we could even go over these edges right here and just retouch this if we wanted right inside of camera raw. And let's click OK. And if we look at this photograph, there's our before image and there's our after image. Now it feels a little too strong, so we can just take the opacity back just a little bit, just drop it to about there, and that should be looking pretty good. Now, if you want to have a little bit of shadow in there, just play around with the opacity. And so you could have a little shadow just kind of coming there, but not destroying the whole image. In this case, though, let's bring it up to about there. And there we go. That's how we remove a shadow from a photo inside of Photoshop. All right, guys, so I've got a question for you. What kind of tutorial would you like to see more of? This came from a request from Richard. You know, do you have a request? Let us know in the comments underneath. Otherwise, you know, do you prefer photography, design, video? Let me know what kind of tutorials you guys would like to see here. Drop them in the comments underneath. And if you like Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, hit the subscribe button right now and become part of the cafe crew. You'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. Ring the notification bell so you know when I upload, which is usually every Tuesday. So anyway, guys, you know what I'm going to say next? If you like this, smash the like button into dust. <laughs> and until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.